the closed path followed by magnetic flux is called magnetic circuit just like the closed path followed by current is called an electric circuit so this is a magnetic circuit shown here this is a magnetic circuit this is uh, the iron core uh, this is a magnetic flux the flux flows in the magnetic circuit and uh, e is the voltage applied and uh, n number of turns in the coil this is the cross sectional area so the uh, this is the rectangular shape uh, this type of uh, circuit can be made in the circular shape so the two simple magnetic uh, circuits can are possible so the two simple magnetic circuit is shown this is a rectangular in shape and this is circular in shape this is a iron ring uh, the circuit here consists of an iron core of cross sectional area a m a, a uh, m square and um, the mean length of the core is l this is l and the area is m square the circuit in uh, here consists of an iron ring of uh, the cross sectional area m square this is m square and the mean length of uh, iron ring is l here it is l i li meters however in this arrangement there is an air gap of length lg this is lg uh, meters and uh, area cross section is m square in uh, ring type construction the length is uh, circumferential length Okay, the first law of magnetism is like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other the second law of magnetism or coulomb's law it states that f is proportional to m1 m2 upon d square or removing the proportionality sign it is f is equal to k m1 m2 upon d square where m1 and m2 are the pole strengths and d is distance between the poles and k is constant which depends on the nature of surrounding material the constant which depends on nature of surrounding material So this is uh, Coulomb's law. Uh, analogy between electric and magnetic field. The similarities between electric and magnetic circuit we will be seeing now. So the analogy of uh, electric and magnetic field is seen here. Uh, the circuit. First, we will discuss about the circuit. in electric uh, circuit there is a emf and resistance whereas in magnetic circuit there is flux running and opposed by reluctance this is reluctance now driving force here the driving force is emf and here the driving force is 
magneto motive force that is uh, mmf and emf stands for electromotive force response i is equal to e upon r where e is the emf the voltage applied upon the resistance here it is uh, flux which is equal to driving force upon reluctance now the driving force is uh, the at upon s this is equal to at upon s and the unit comes out to be weber now the density the current density in case of electric uh, circuit it is j is electric uh, field and density upon rho rho is the resistivity and here the flux density is b which is equal to mu h drops in electric circuit uh, the drop is in ir voltage drop and uh, in a ma a magnetic circuit it is mmf drop and it is flux into s field density is emf upon length and this is ni into i n into i upon l the laws which are applicable in electric field, uh, circuit are kvl and kcl whereas the laws applicable in magnetic circuits are kirchhoff's flux law and mmf laws okay till now we saw the similarities between electric circuit and uh, magnetic circuit now we will see the dissimilarities between them electric circuit uh, uh, current flows in that and uh, in magnetic circuit the flux flows energy is required to produce current and to maintain the current also lekin magnetic circuit mein energy is required to produce the flux lekin uh, maintenance ke liye energy ki zarurat nahi hai current can't pass through air flux can pass through air conductivity varies from material to material permeability does not vary largely and there is hardly any magnetic insulator once source is removed current is zero but flux still persists even after removal of mmf so this is known as residual flux so the figure shows a magnetic circuit with ac excitation this is the ac excitation a few points should be noted in this circuit that di by dt will never be zero because there will be always change in current due to ac supply inductance will be present here and the third point to be noticed is the flux will be alternating uh, now we will derive the expression for alternating flux okay, let us assume that vt is uh, vn sin omega t uh, with this uh, if the coil is made up of n number of turns and its uh, reactance is zero and uh, inductance uh, is l henry l henry then the instantaneous current through the coil is given by uh, 1 upon l integration v t dt and it comes out to be this as we know that the core flux will be proportional to the current uh, if the core is not saturated so you can write that the flux is uh, equal to the constant vm by omega l sin omega t minus pi by 2 thus the core flux is the sinusoidal and lags behind the ac voltage by 90 degree so uh, the flux is flux is sinusoidal sinusoidal hoga or it lags behind the ac voltage 
by 90 degree. So there will be a uh, self-induced EMF, self-induced EMF. There will be a self-induced EMF uh, which is given by ET which is equal to minus N D phi T upon DT. Okay, self-induced uh, EMF, uh, E is given by minus N D phi by uh, DT and uh, phi ki value yaha pe hum put kar dete hai. So, I will get this and uh, deriving this. I will get EM to be like this. E is 2 pi F upon root 2 N phi M. Now the value of this will be 4.44. Putting the value this um, flux density, flux will be E upon 4.44 F into N.